expanding to Brand Safety Week. And part of our expansion is our thinking about the topic of brand safety. We think that brand safety in a lot of ways is the news because it's so current event driven, which is why we're producing the news here in Cannes. Uh, what do you think about our thinking? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, definitely. I think the news and you know the rise of how people digest media is really changing. Um, we've been through a really tough period with COVID. Obviously, everyone has um, moved more into the digital world, and the way that they digest and take in media is fundamentally shifting and changing. The news and current events at the moment, obviously, we're in an unparalleled um, time of change. In advertising and, and how I think that relates to our industry um, is that you know consumers maybe have on average less disposable income, they're living more of their lives online um, and also we're facing some really tough challenges geopolitically and I think we need to be quite mindful of that with brand safety and with advertising about how we move forward um, and do things responsibly more than ever I think. Got it, cool. And so can uh, what's the most fun, amazing, surprising things you've seen since you've gotten here? Yeah, good question. Well, <laughs> I only arrived last night. Um, probably one of the most amazing, actually, I took the train from Nice, um, and it's fantastic going along the coastline there, seeing all the people, unfortunately, on the beach, sunning themselves while I was hot and tired for, from a long uh, plane journey. But no, it's just fantastic to be here. I've spent a lot of time in the south of France as well. Um, and a lot of my family live in France, so it's really nice to be here. Um, yeah, and looking forward to to more drinks and, and more networking. Nice. So, so what are you looking to do here as a, as the company? What what are, what are some of your key goals for the week? Yeah. So Veracity's core mission is to bring transparency into advertising. So we have our proof of view module, which is based on like a blockchain backend, uh, and we're really looking to evangelise the technology that we've built that basically makes um, the whole of the advertising industry more transparent for both advertisers and publishers. So we store all of this data um, and basically make it easier to, to prevent fraud in advertising. I think that's a really key um, part of where the industry is going. Talking about that, that first question there with um, you know, the current events and how we navigate this new digital world. Um, I think that transparency is going to be key to that. Are you printing impression by impression to the blockchain or smart contracts? How do you guys do it? Yeah, so we have our own uh, tailor-made sidechain, which is a sidechain of Ethereum. Uh, it's called the Vera chain. And we store all of that data on our own blockchain. So it's sort of like a permission blockchain. Um, and then we validate that through proof of view, which is our own module that we've tailor-made for that purpose. Yeah. So it's sort of like metadata on the blockchain. Yeah. yeah. So getting into the news a little bit, um, we were lucky enough to have the head of Southeast Asia from Coinbase in one of our previous shows. And he gave us this great line. He's, when you're talking about crypto, he said, you know, we think people come for the speculation, but they stay for the utility. Mm. And I think it's a great line just on its own, but with crypto winter, that's what it's being called, mm -hmm. coming, uh, it seems like the speculators might have left, and all that might be left, maybe, I don't know, who knows, is the utility. How, how, how does what's happening in crypto land and, and prices seem to be affecting the future of blockchain projects, yeah. or does it? That's a really good question. I think it's been particularly hard for retail investors um, who have been particularly burnt by the drop in the market. We're still seeing a lot of institutional investors who haven't left yet. They're still in DeFi protocols, and they're still within the markets. Um, in terms of our longevity at Veracity, we've got a 10-year runway of funds um, in, in fiat currencies. Um, so we're okay, but there are going to be a lot of companies, unfortunately, that either have to scale back. We've already seen that in advertising budgets. Um, a lot of blockchain companies are scaling back either their marketing division uh, or their advertising division. You mentioned Coinbase. They've obviously, unfortunately, just scaled right. back their operations. But I don't think the crypto winter is going to end any, um, you know, any innovation that's happening in the blockchain space. I still think a lot of companies are building. They're going to continue to build and, and ship real-world uh, products and solutions. Right. I hope.